Um, I know we're supposed to be recording our video about the preview card today. So why are you dressed really weird? Videos? Recording? Of what dost thou speak, witch? For I know not of either. Nay, I am merely a humble scribe who does put quill to parchment. Well, we've got to put video to the internet because we're talking about a preview card from Throne of Eldraine. Thou hast surely been cursed to speak such nonsense. Well, I guess curse could be one way of putting it, but I also have been doing a podcast for seven years, which I guess is a type of a curse. <laughs> anyway, we're supposed to be recording a preview card today and show- showing it to the world. Surely not. Instead, let us adventure into the unknown. Shall we go? <laughs> What did you do to me? Welcome, mischievous lass, to the world of Eldraine. Eldraine? That's right. Tis a mystical land full of fairies and other, you know, magic stuff. Okay, well, I suppose if we're talking about a Throne of Eldraine preview card, uh, we can just keep going with this and I'll play along with whatever's going on over here. I know not of what you speak, for I have always been this way. Okay, sure. Indeed, as far back as my memory stretches, I have lived here in the land of Eldraine. Well, okay, sure. We'll talk about Throne of Eldraine then, since we're both dressed like this. Uh, It comes from Wizards of the Coast, of course. Thank Uh, you for providing our preview card. The Wizards of the Coast. I know them well. They have a mighty fortress built on the banks of a wondrous lake. Do you mean the Pacific Ocean? I do not know of the Pacific Ocean. Let's take a look at that preview card now. Ayara, first of Locked Wayne. Ah, I have not met her myself, but I know many who have fallen. Because of her? (laughs) Uh, Because of her. Whether they were fighting against her or they believed themselves to be fighting at her side. Uh. For she makes no distinction between either, but rather will have all at her mercy. I mean, I get what you're saying. Take a look at this art by Ryan Pancoast, one of my favorite magic artists. Black, black, black to cast her as a 2-3 legendary creature elf noble. Whenever a Yara first of Locked Wayne or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control each opponent loses one life and you gain one life tap sacrifice another black creature draw a card she does sap the very life force from those around her she does and And then you get to draw cards i not tell thee that she would sacrifice even those who did align themselves with her for her cause you did say that is it a just one we know not for what is just Great point. And if you're playing black or a mono black deck, you know, you've got to ask yourself the question, are you the good person or the bad person? And are you playing mono black or is mono black playing you? Great point. Many who thought that they were playing Ayara did find themselves instead played. But I think this could find a home in a pretty sweet mono black deck. What do you think? Ah, a deck of cards. I have shuffled one once. When I did sit in a tavern and with my merry friends play a hand or two. But those bright times are behind us for they are all gone to war and I am here merely a bard set to record the tales of their deaths. Well, uh, you seem like a combo player. I'm just going to put that out there. (laughs) I shall look into the tomes of learning, and I shall seek for more knowledge on Ayara. Or perhaps I shall write my own tales of her evil, dark deeds. That's right. That's a great point. You can write in the comments if you've got an idea for a deck to build with Ayara or any other cards that you think will combo well with her. Remember, we're going back to Theros coming up in 2020, which we think will be a lot of devotion decks, that kind of thing. So Mono By Black what devotion. post will people deliver these comments? Um, YouTube. My tube? <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs>